how to tape up a box. I want to make sure that you guys understand that it's not only for the top of it that we're going to do a little later, but we also want to make sure that the bottom is the same way. So please notice I did the double long, one, two, three wide, and all the way around. We do it this way because glasses, yeah, they're important to mark that arrow up for the movers to know, but with uh, kitchen utensils and, and pots and pans and whatnot, it isn't super important what's up and what's down, so we want to make sure that both the top and the bottom have enough support that if the movers put it upside down in the truck, it doesn't break through. Um, now, even though this specific box does have a lot of padding, we want to make sure we do a little bit of extra protection because not only your kitchen items are going in the truck, but also your queen size bed or your 5,000 leather sofa. We don't want any knives to break through this box and harm anything else in the truck. All I'm going to do is simply take, well, I have moving paper. You can do it with magazines, like I said, or newspaper or whatever. All I'm going to do is print it up. Doesn't need to be pretty, just needs to be in the box. And we're good to go to start. All right, now many different people do it very different ways. Um, some people do their forks, knives, spoons with, I don't know, like a Ziploc bag or even put it in Tupperware. I have this weird thing that I think that if these things are going to be in the Ziploc bag, they're going to scratch each other, and I hate that on my silverware. But whatever you feel comfortable with, definitely feel free to do. Um, I'm going to start with forks. I'm going to make sure that they're all nested together, nice and pretty. We're going to put them at the end. We're going to take, it doesn't matter how many, just make sure it's, you know, thick enough for you to work with. And we're going to start going and rolling it through. Once I'm all done, scratch it up, use my tape, and it goes in the box. We don't only do these for knives, spoons, forks, and all that fun stuff, but we can go even further on. Um, I'm going to give you an example for uh, spatulas or whatnot. You guys can do this with plastic, you can do it with metal, you can do it with wood, it doesn't matter. But if I take my plastic, again, just make sure they're nested nice and neat between each other. Take enough paper, throw it through. All together. throughout your, your kitchen cupboards, it doesn't matter. But once we're done, you can see everything's good and neat in there. Once we're done, we can pile it all the way up, close our box, tape it like we're supposed to tape it, mark it whatever we want, and we're good to go with our kitchen utensils.